China has contributed over one third of global economic growth in the last few years. After the death of Mao Zedong in 1976, China gradually moved away from a centrally controlled economy to a market-driven one that is increasing the standard of living. With a population over 1.3 billion, millions of young people have migrated from the countryside to the booming cities in search of their share of the new wealth and a contemporary lifestyle. But how has society opened up during the reforms? New wealth doesn't extend across the country. It's concentrated in the big cities. Art is a powerful way to get through to the psyche of a country. Once considered obscure and exotic, contemporary Chinese art is commanding unprecedented prices that no one imagined a few years ago. Chinese contemporary art is probably the segment of the art market that has moved the most rapidly and expanded exponentially. So the prices have risen faster than any other segment of the art market. China is beginning to organize its art scene with independent art centers, galleries, and the birth of art criticism. It's a chaotic and dynamic environment. It perfectly represents all the contradictions that are going on in China today. It has the dynamism, the pop, the energy. It's a commodity, but at the same time, it has such historical links with the past, and it's also looking toward the future. And all this is changing at the same speed as China. Rather than simply catching up with and emulating the West, artists are seeking out new means of expression to reflect their own evolving identity. To get a sense of where the new wave of expression has come from, you have to look back over China's recent art history. In 1942, the future leader of the Chinese Revolution, Mao Zedong, declared that in the Socialist Republic of China, the function of art was to serve society. This definition was always at odds with art as an individual act, primarily concerning freedom of expression. Art became the principal political tool of the nation's propaganda and embraced the collective mindset. Mao began the Cultural Revolution in 1966 as a campaign to rid China of its liberal bourgeoisie, to smash the old world and establish a new one. During its madness, many authors, artists and religious figures were purged or killed. Millions of people were persecuted and an estimated half a million died. Education was brought to a standstill, and countless ancient buildings, artifacts, antiques, books, and paintings were destroyed during the 10 violent years that followed. Since the death of Mao in 1976, a cauldron of artistic awakening began. In the 70s and early 80s, Chinese society was in transition. The political environment was harsh for art. When it was strict, it was difficult for all artistic activities. The first avant-garde art movements were the No Name Group and the Star Group. These were uh, the two pioneering forces that really kick-start, initiated the existence of Chinese contemporary art. What these artists wanted to do is really to express themselves freely in any different kinds of media and styles that they wanted, because this is something that they were not allowed to do during the Cultural Revolution. We, 23 art explorers, exhibit our humble work here. Our paintings have their own expressions and show our individual dreams. We live in a multi-layered life with shadows from the past and light from the future. It's our duty to live assertively and remember every lesson. We love the soil under our feet. In the 30th anniversary of the founding of New China, we give our harvest back to the earth and the people. We are full of confidence. 
The Star Group held their first exhibition in 1979 on the park railings outside the Chinese National Gallery. The show was closed down immediately because it attracted a large crowd and the authorities didn't know how to contain the public's enthusiasm. Unexpected protests followed and eventually the artists gained the right to reopen the exhibition in Beijing's Beihai Park. This resistance, this uh, attempt to, to gain more freedom in, in expressions became something of a, a political gesture and that was very much considered the very beginning of Chinese contemporary art. 